Good morning, future being. Don't you just hate the O2? Don't you just hate it? Isn't it just a disgusting monument to capitalism and failure and inadequacy and mediocrity? This cold circular tent that you can see from space full of chain restaurants and a very average cinema. They have a wasabi here. They have a wasabi and it's, it's pretty good. I've been thinking a lot lately about how this project forces you to hold a mirror up to yourself. Quite literally, uh, right now. And how even without your half of the project, Future Bing, I'm forced to confront myself. It pushes me to a kind of extreme uh, and forces me to confront or learn certain things about myself. And as I get older, I feel overwhelmingly that that's a positive thing, that it helps me make positive change in my life. And although I don't have you to compare to, I do have past past Bings and past future Bings. This is the third time I filmed my life in such a detailed way. This venue is far too fancy for you, my man. Hey, look, it's got tables and everything. People have reserved spots. Hey, that's a sexy guitar. Where'd you get that? It's like old times, huh? I miss your nan. I'll just go straight into my straight in, and then if you can just unmute me for that, because the buzz wasn't on the other channel, was it? Can you just unmute the unmute the guitar line two? I would love to know a song about your feelings, Elliot Morris. You have so many of them. As I look out across the bay, I try to think of things to say. It's too late, can't make a stay. She's away, on her way. So who do I see when I hold up that mirror? I see someone busy who can't say no, has trouble saying no, and struggles more than he would like to admit with jealousy and FOMO and anxiety. get fish and chips after you've set up the CDs. So once I, well no, I've got 20 minutes until I'm on. Oh, I'll get fish and chips with me. Room with lots of clocks. Oh hey. Oh hey, there's so many clocks in here. I see someone who is generally outwardly very happy, but not content. Never settled, never happy with how things are. I see someone who is neglecting their body and prioritizing their mind. Someone who's willing to sacrifice, but not necessarily in the most productive way. I also notice that the people I spend time with have changed. The cast of my life is different now than it was only a year ago or a couple of years ago. I've tried very hard to surround myself with good people, creative people, people who inspire me, people I look up to. I see someone who has got a lot of worry building under the surface. Someone who maybe doesn't reflect enough on what's bothering him, although he's getting better. And even in the last month or so doing this project, I've noticed these things and I've started trying to take positive steps. Doing this project, making PBFB changes who I am. And that's one of the reasons I like doing it. One of the reasons I want to do it again. So I hope the Kickstarter has been a success, Future Bing, so that we 
get to do this again on a bigger scale. But even if it hasn't, I know that this mini-series will have been worth it. And hey, I think I might have diabetes. Okay, yeah, that is quite nice. It's important to stay humble, future Bing, and always help out your friends. Your friends are who make you. The people you spend the most time with, they shape your experience of the world. Which is why I don't have a problem spending five minutes cutting out leaflets for Elliot Morris's pledge campaign. I'm also doing a very bad job of it. You see that? I took too many at once. I flew too close to the sun and I skewed off because it was too thick. Isn't that the story of our lives? <laughs>